we have a lot of advantages in our way. For one, uh, starting with the very example you gave, leapfrogging. Mm. We have the opportunity to leapfrog. We don't have to go through the mistakes, the learning curves that some more developed countries than ourselves had to go through. We have the advantage of having a very youthful population and we want to turn this into an opportunity for us, not just for market, but for retooling, skilling, digitization, and energy. So the length of time you'd have these huge numbers of young people available to do work, as opposed to an aged population, is so much better. We have the advantage of time and space. We are Botswana in this time in history. It's an exciting time. I mean, imagine if we didn't have digitization. Uh, you can be connected to any part of the world in less than a split of a second. Mm. And that's a huge opportunity. We also have the advantage in that we have a much friendlier environment for development than used to be the case. And uh, so in our posturing, in our quest to grow and grow faster, we have many more places and friends to call upon to assist us. The, the, the trouble is, uh, before many of those things can happen, you need political stability. And at the moment, we're, we're in a moment where the opposition is challenging the election result. You've tried to dismiss the UDC's perspective, but there will be a ruling later this month, I think, on where this now goes. Is this holding back the, some of the opportunity for the government to actually focus on the economy? You're now in the midst of a, um, a, 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 an issue of political uncertainty, which will make policy quite difficult to implement. I wish you were from Botswana like I. What you speak of is really uh, caricaturing Botswana as if there was instability. For us, it's totally normal. We have always been addict to the rule of law. And so for every citizen, they know that if you have a challenge, if you have a dispute, you go to the courts of law, it'll be settled. Mm -hmm. So when matters are before the courts, life goes on. Sure. Before I left home, I went through the budget speech. That's coming. Mm -hmm. We have drawn up our budget. We're ready. We continue to serve our people and country. If the court pronounces in any way whatsoever, we will abide by that ruling. If they want us to go for a by-election or re-election, we will do it. There is no anxiety. There is no political instability. There's nothing abnormal in Botswana. It's just the way we do business. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersechi, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.